بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 015 grammar unit 1 lesson 1 using there is there are a and an the learning objectives dear students by the end of this lesson you will be able to identify and use there is and there are appropriately Use there is for one person or thing, i.e. singular nouns. Use there are for two or more people or things, i.e. plural nouns. Identify and use the indefinite articles a and an. Identify and use some and any appropriately. Use a singular noun after there is. So after there is, we use a singular noun. Example, there is a table lamp on the table. Notice here that after there is, we use a singular noun, table lamp, one table lamp. This is a singular noun. So after there is, we use a singular noun. There is an English exam at nine. Again, after there is, we have a singular noun, one exam, English exam. So, after there is, we use a singular noun. Use a plural noun after there are. Example, there are some books on the table. Notice here that after there are, we use a plural noun. Some books, not one, but many. One, two, three, four, some books. So, the word books is a plural noun. So, we use a plural noun after there are. Another example. There are 28 students in my class. So, again, after there are, we use a plural noun. Students were not one, but many. Okay, we have many students. So, there are many students. Or there are 28 students in my class. So, after there are, we use a plural noun. Now, use a or an with singular nouns. We use these two articles with singular nouns. Use an before vowel sounds. These are vowel sounds. Examples. She lives in an apartment. Notice here that the word apartment is a singular noun. It starts with a vowel sound, a. So, we use an before the word apartment. Why? Because this word, apartment, starts with a vowel sound. Another example. A bee is an insect. Notice here that the word bee is singular. It starts with a consonant. This is a consonant. It is not a vowel sound. So we use a before the word b. But the word insect starts with a vowel sound i. It starts with a vowel sound i. So we use an before the word insect. Another example. The exam lasts for an hour. Again, the exam lasts for an hour. Notice the pronunciation of the word hour. Hour. Okay, so this letter here, the letter H, is not pronounced. It is not pronounced. It is written, but it is not pronounced. It is silent. It is silent. So we say an hour. An hour. Why? Because this letter Okay, is not pronounced. It is silent. Tom lives in a house. Here, the letter H is pronounced. It is not silent. It is pronounced. Ha, house. So, we use A before the word house. Because the H is a consonant. It is not a vowel sound. We say a house. Ali works at a university. University. Notice that this letter here is pronounced 
يا and يا is not a vowel sound a university again university this letter here is pronounced يا is pronounced يا university and the يا is not a vowel sound so we use a before the word university I want an umbrella notice this letter here is pronounced a umbrella a umbrella the letter this letter the letter u is pronounced a so it is a vowel sound the a is a vowel sound so we say an umbrella an umbrella again why because this letter is pronounced a okay and a is a vowel sound but in the previous example this letter the same letter is pronounced ya university university and the ya is not a vowel sound so here you have to be careful okay choose a or an because of the sound not the spelling don't be confused with the spelling okay so again when the h is not pronounced okay use an when the letter u is pronounced u okay it is not a vowel use a use a or an in front of singular nouns examples she has a letter letter one letter singular so we use a i would like an apple an apple one apple okay one apple so this is singular we use and again why because the word apple starts with a vowel sound with a vowel sound okay use some in front of plural nouns we use the word some with the plural nouns examples she has some letters not one but some you see we have some letters one two three for we have some letters not one but some we say some letters can we say a uh, letters no we cannot because the word letters is a plural noun it is not a singular we use a uh, only with singular i would like some apples again the word apples is a plural noun you see a plural noun we have many apples here so we use some but can we say an apples no we cannot so this is wrong again why because this is plural okay this is a plural noun we use an with singular okay with singular nouns use some in affirmative statements not negative but affirmative statements examples i have some money you see i have have affirmative statement she needs some help some help again this is an affirmative statements use any in negative statements use any in negative statements examples i don't have any money you see this is negative i don't have any money can here can we say here some money no this is wrong why because this is negative okay we cannot say i don't have some money no this is wrong you have to say i don't have any money I don't have any money. I don't have any assignments to do. Again, this is a negative. Okay, this is negative. Okay, so we have to use any. I don't have any assignments. Can we say I don't have some assignments? I don't have some assignments to do. No, this is wrong. Again, why? Because here we have a negative statements a negative statement so with affirmative statements we use some with negative statements we use any any questions any question you can either use some or any with the questions you can either use some or any examples do you have some money this is a question okay this is a question do you have some money you can also say do you have any money do you have any money so both questions are correct so any questions you can say some or any thank you for listening